1529 forecast. Blustery cold winds. Here's a live view from the top of a winter green. Seen lots of blue skies up above, so that means no natural snow. So they had to make their snow. No opening date just yet, but they're trying to get a good base. They're seeing that they're able to make some snow for the next few days and nights. But even when our next significant weather system arrives on Friday, it's going to be in rain form. Northwest winds right now 25 35 miles per hour. There's a wind chill. The first time we're showing this map of the season, the wind chill chart. Look at this. We have numbers in the 20s and 30s. So this is the real field temperature when you combine the wind blowing from the north and west this afternoon. In that first forecast for the rest of your day, temperature steady in the mid 30s in the valley, low 40s over central Virginia, dropping like a rock after sunset. And when that full moon returns, overnight lows will dip on down into the teens by daybreak on Wednesday. NBC 29's live Doppler radar network is dry here at home, but there were some flurries not too far away along I-68. There were a few snow showers, even some snow squalls back west into the Alleghenies, into West Virginia and Western Maryland. Even some flurries made their way over into the New River and Roanoke Valleys. Now we're seeing the lake effect snow machine. It continues to pile up. A uh, foot or two in the south towns of Buffalo over the next uh, couple of days. Once this begins to relax, we're going to see a warming trend back to near average by the second half of the week. Until then, that northwest wind bringing in those colder temperatures for at least the next day or two. Watching the future cast, and that means we're going to see dry skies at least over the next couple of days and overnight as high pressure is going to keep us dry until we go to the first few days of December. So here's Friday evening. Can't roll out some rain. Unfortunately, at this time for the grand illumination on Charlottesville's downtown mall. So we'll we'll watch that for the timing of that uh, rainfall. But right now, the models, the forecast guidance has been consistently showing rain on Friday evening. Saturday, we're seeing mostly a dry outlook and then more wet weather will arrive on Sunday and next Monday from the south and west. Rainfall projections aren't that impressive. We might see a half inch of rainfall. That's the European guidance. The American GFS guidance wants to give us well under a quarter inch of rain, but it does look unsettled for the first few days of December. In your storm team, 29 report for today, sun, a few fair weather clouds, but really the star of the weather show today is those gusty northwest winds, making it feel like it's in the 20s with that wind chill after daytime highs in the mid to low 40s for the central part of the Commonwealth and only in the 30s for the Shenandoah Valley. Overnight, we're going to dip on down into the teens. Now, the valley, you've already had lows in the teens. We've not been in the teens yet for Charlottesville, and we may be that cold by dawn on Wednesday. Now, Wednesday afternoon, highs will reach the low to mid 40s. Sunshine, less wind, blue skies, seven day forecast, 20s tomorrow night, 50s on and dry Thursday, 50 Friday with showers, a morning shower Saturday, and then drying out in the 50s, and more wet weather is likely off and on rain next Sunday and Monday, Jared.